hi guys welcome back to another cooking series from gumsy kitchen if you're asking who is gumsy kitchen gumsy kitchen is me because that's my business name i'm a food vendor based in abuja are you tired of white rice like having white rice always stay tuned to this video because i am going to show you how to make curry sauce and rice okay it's the white rice but this one is like a flavorful white rice and an upgraded white rice for which you would love to prepare for your family for your man for your boo and if you haven't subscribed please click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell give this video a huge and massive thumbs up share and stay tuned to this particular video because you don't want to miss how to make this curry sauce powder and hey curry sauce powder wow curry sauce and white rice i'll be preparing food with the kids today and um i hope you enjoy it bye so we're making sauce today and um i want to fry our all these things i got from sheen they have been of huge help for me. So it helps you control the amount of oil that you will pour into a particular. Eh, 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 eh. The amount of oil you pour into a particular meal. So that is it. I'll be setting that aside. So I'll be adding a little bit of onions, or rather. Come on. I'll be going in with our chicken breast. I want to put a small amount of sauce. Uh -oh. As long as I use this spoon, I'm going to use it again. So I'll be adding a little bit of onions so that it will simmer inside. Now, another thing I got from Shein that I love so much, Shein, that I love so much is this portable, this portable shopper. So I just use it in chopping up my um, garlic and ginger. So all you have to do is add in your garlic and ginger. Then this is the handle whereby you can drag it. Hold on. So here is the handle. All you have to do is to drag it like this. And then you open it up. This is it. This is our... Hold on, let me reduce this and show you guys. So this is our garlic and ginger. I'll be adding it in. Just for shopping. Hey, shopping. <laughs> Just for shopping. Hey. Is it shopping? I'll be shopping. I know if you know, Seth. Just for shopping up small um, items that you are making use of. Okay? So add your ginger and garlic. And then you're going to be mixing everything. Yeah. Don't stay. So right now I'm putting curry powder and then um, I'll be putting a little bit of thyme and then I will be going in with our pepper sauce. This one is oyster sauce. Nkabu amor amor amor. A moist, a moist, cow a moist. We don't buy and be said we don't buy and we go use her like that. Mommy wow, is really doing the color. Mommy, so when you, so mommy, when you mix it, the color will be like this. Mommy, a little. 
Okay. Going in with our soy dark sauce. sauce. Yeah. This one is dark soy sauce, so you have to go easy with it. Easy, easy. Baby, wait, wait, wait. Let me And then a little bit of turmeric. Stop, Lotana. Aha. And then we'll be going in with them um, ground coriander. This one is cooking. Baking class. Cook, cooking and baking class, they are different. Baking class, you cook. And cake, I have been talking to Santa, and he told me everything that you want this year. I went shopping and planning ribbons and candles. There is um, one, it's just a spice that I blended the last time I was cooking I for my cook. husband. So this is a combination of onions, um, ginger, spring onions, and um, tatashi pepper. So that is what I'll be adding into here. The scent is heavenly, like it smells so good. Now make sure. Oh yeah. Oh, she Wait, will you put this inside our Hold it well, long. some of this sesame oil I've already added it mm. no it's not frozen try out another method of making white rice okay and as usual this is from Shein like hey this is coming in handy another way of making fried rice so that it won't be that every time I am if you're bored of eating white rice always so that is what we want to achieve today and I will shock you guys along how to make um <laughs> rice with vegetable i don't just know anyway so this is granite oil add some oil inside a pan 
if you want your rice your white rice to have another scent you can equally go with the um, sesame oil for which i've shown you guys in the sauce but there is no need adding it here since i've already added it in the sauce so just allow the oil to get hot i'll be adding some onions and then I purposely remain this ginger and garlic. Um, uh, the way I love ginger and garlic these days, eh? Be like say they do me, <laughs> they not do me at all. It's, it's very nice for your meals. I have to get those things out. Where, where? Nothing goes to waste, though. This is my spoon, eh? Probably better one. I was supposed to add more onions, but I don't really have more onions anyway. A little bit of pepper, just to give it some... Oh, I don't even have the pepper again. Just to give it some color. Um, I think that's fine. <coughs> I'll be adding a little bit of salt. so once i add that in <clears throat> i'll be adding in our rice i washed this rice this is actually basmati rice Frying. <coughs> ah, needed to cough. So I'll be frying this particular rice for some time before cooking it. So if you have more onions, <coughs> you can add because the aim was to caramelize. Hey, you can caramelize. No, no, no. The aim was to fry the onions for some time before you add your rice. But onions are gone, so we are going to manage this this one. I will increase the light. Hmm? Just fry so, so, for some time. That is what we are doing here. There is nothing else I'm adding. Everything has gone in. Okay. There is no need adding any more spice. <clears throat> so, I think we should add a little bit of curry powder. Uh, so that when we finish cooking the rice, it will still be giving white color. I want it to change color after cooking it. So hence, I am adding a little bit of curry powder. So I have actually fried this rice for 10 to 15 minutes. So all I have to do now is to pour this is actually meat broth, but if you don't have meat, meat water, you can go in with normal water. But because my, my meat water was remaining, hence I am using it. But if you don't have um, meat water remaining, add normal water. So all I have to do is to pour the water that will cook that particular rice. That is what I am going to do now. Okay?
So from time to time, you can be adding water. So you'll be covering this to boil. You know basmati rice, you don't um, do it like per boiling. You per boil, you pour away, you wash and um, pour it into the pot again. But um, basmati rice is just cook and go. You just be pouring water as the rice is cooking. So that is what we want to achieve here. So you'll be covering this, okay? And I'll show you guys later. So we'll be checking on our rice. I have been stirring it from time to time. So the rice has dried up water. Now all you have to do is to cook this rice to the level for which you want. Maybe you like your rice very soft or a little bit strong. Just cook it to that amount. So right now my rice is ready. So this is another way for which you can cook your rice. So that you don't have the feeling of white rice always. So here is our rice. Let me dish out and I will show you guys. <laughs> 